Hello, sports fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here today to take a quick look at the ratings which recently came out. You may or may not know that. They're on the Stratomatic website for download in uh, either a uh, like a PDF uh, format or um, um, or in Excel. So um, we're just going to take a quick look and some of the things that I noted that um, I either um, don't agree with or agree with. Now I want to put out a caveat that most years I agree with nearly all of Stratomatic's ratings. They are usually pretty good about uh, the way they rate guys. Um, but sometimes there's inconsistencies and you don't understand why they did what they did in a certain way. And it seems like it's like a, there's a dichotomy this year. It seems like they handed out a few too many ones, but they also handed out a lot of fours and fives. So, uh, you know, we're going to take a quick look again. I may <coughs> cough like that from time to time. I'm still... Got, I got over a cold, but I still have a lingering cough, and that happens with me quite quite often. When I get a cold or a respiratory infection, the cough will last like weeks afterwards. So um, anyway, uh, let's let's get into this. I'll you know as I'm scrolling down, you can take a look at um, you know certain guys um, and new players. You know I don't really. I don't really know how I would, um, uh, you know, how I would personally rate a lot of new players on teams that I'm not familiar with. You know, like right here, this is the Orioles. Um, <coughs> and, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see too much here. Although, really, Santander being a four in both corner outfields, that's eh, uh, it's probably a little harsh. Um, and then we'll look at some of the guys that are on my team, on my Stratomatic team in Elmwood, um, also, um, yeah, Bobby Dahlbeck being a four right across the board on the infield. Now, maybe the other infield positions, I could see that, but a four at first base, I mean, Dahlbeck was supposed to be considered to be pretty good at, for uh, like a good defensive first baseman. So I'm not sure about that. Uh, Reese McGuire, he's a good defensive catcher, and he got a three. Um, so now the White Sox, I have some guy. I think I have some guys on the White Sox. Let's uh, let's see here. Sheets, I know I have sheets, and he's a. Five and left. Now, I, I can kind of agree with that. He doesn't play. He didn't play left field a lot. He played mostly right. And, you know, we'll go along with a four there. He's a four at first. Um, Danny Mendick being a two at second, but he's a four at the rest of the infield. Just uh, some, you know, some stuff to take note of here. Um, okay, so you can see Altuve, my man Altuve, he's my second baseman. He has a second base three rating. <coughs> um, Maldonado got his usual one at catcher. I can go along with that. I know he is a very good defensive catcher. The only thing that keeps him on the Astros, really, is that he's a great defensive catcher. Um, Now, it's interesting here, Bobby Witt Jr. is a shortstop four. I mean, that was the big thing with him. That was, you know, so, I mean, I don't know. I don't follow the Royals, so I don't know that he isn't a four or he shouldn't be a four, but it's very interesting. His rookie year, he's a shortstop four. Now, another guy on my team is Taylor Ward, and uh, he is a three at the corners and a four in center field, which is, is that's fine. I'm, I'm just pointing him out because he's on my team, and um, 
And so I've got a three. He's going to probably play right field for me. So um, that's uh, that's pretty good. In fact, um, I know I did note that um, as I was scrolling by, but I'm past the White Sox. Um, when we were looking at the White Sox, uh, you would have noted maybe that um, Eloy Jimenez is a left field five. And right now, I would have to play Eloy Jimenez in left field. Um, so that is going to be problematic uh, for me. Um, because my DH is um, J.D. Martinez, and he can only DH. So that's kind of interesting, too. Kind of interesting here on uh, Jose Siri um, on Tampa Bay. A one in center field and a two in the corners. So it's kind of an interesting. See, that's what I mean. I mean, it seems like it, it, you'll notice like and also Kiermaier's a one, although he usually is a one in center field. But you'll notice if you get this and you download it and you take a look at it, you'll notice there's a lot of ones in there um, that are really you know it's it's kind of perplexing because usually you're used to ones being reserved for just gold glovers or people who were really i mean you had to be elite but it seems like there's a lot of guys that are not elite that are getting ones this year and it's kind of a strange thing uh, but as you can see there's a ton of fours there's a lot of fives also here i mean this is just texas um Brad Miller's a five everywhere. Um, I'm not saying Brad Miller shouldn't be a five everywhere, but I mean, you know, um, yeah, it's just, but yet here, Eli, well, he's an additional player, but Eli White, a one in left and a one in center. Um, and if he's an additional player, he probably didn't play a lot. And so how does a guy that, didn't play a lot, get a one in the outfield. Now, I'm just saying, it used to be you would not see that from an additional player or a part-time player. They would not get ones. But now they've started to give out ones like they're giving out candy. And here again, another additional player, Lewin Diaz, and he is a one at first base. And Eric Gonzalez is a computer player. That means he doesn't even get a card and he's a first base one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you're not getting a card, you really didn't have a lot of at bats and you should not be a one. And I'm going to scroll through a couple of you know few teams here just so you can take a look and again you'll notice the littering of fours and fives and and then the ones that uh, it's really kind of perplexing and L Luis um, Gu Guilorm of the Mets getting a one at second base I mean I don't know much about the Mets. If there's Mets fans out there can, that can verify that the dude is really a second base one. And again, that means elite defense. Elite. Like, I could see if they made him a two. Like, he's a third base two.
<laughs> Dan Vogelbach, first base five, and I'm not going to argue with that one. Um, Philadelphia's got a lot of fours, but of course, you know, I would expect that. They really put a team of DHs together and it w happened to work. Bradley Zimmer is a computer player and he's a center field one. I don't, how do you do that? And again, if you want to stop the, um, you know, stop the video and take a look at a certain team as I'm scrolling past them. Uh, that's fine. Now, Goldschmidt's a one at first. That makes sense. Goldschmidt is a gold glove quality. I don't know if he won the gold glove, but he is a gold glove quality first baseman. Manny Machado, third base one, makes sense. He's a good, he's a very uh, good defensive third baseman. So, yeah, we're just taking a look here. I just want to give you guys a quick look at these. Um, if you haven't seen them, as we scroll by and you know you can stop and take a look and of course you got the pictures in red um so i'm working on my and that's the end of the list so i'm working on my draft list right now and um i'll see i gotta put some of these guys in my draft list and get going with my team team is pretty good looking pretty good this year i will do a video on my team when i it is all assembled after the draft and everything but uh Again, it always I always think it looks pretty good, and then it does terrible. But anyway, just want to give you guys a look at these uh, ratings and uh, see what you think about them. Um, any comments? Have you looked them over and, uh, you know, found any discrepancies, any things that you think is a little amiss? Now, and another thing we'll point out, like one, one thing one guy caught was that Lords Goriel is not rated in left field, but he played most of the season in left field on these ratings now they will probably correct that when the cards come out and i that's another thing i wanted to point out is a lot these are like advanced ratings advanced predicted ratings by the company but they aren't going to necessarily be what the final ratings are um on the card so i told the guy that pointed that out to me i said you know guriel will probably end up getting a left field rating it's just possible that in this um advanced look at the ratings they on an oversight they didn't uh they didn't put his rating for left field um but last year tim anderson was a three at shortstop when these ratings came out and he ended up being a shortstop too so that kind of thing does happen but let me know your thoughts give me a thumbs up on the video and be looking out for more videos in the future and that's it for me sportsman z bob zolke signing off